Well, we love our pets, but do they love us in return? From happiness and sadness to anxiety and empathy and beyond, CBS2 explores emotion in animals. They look like the strangest of bedfellows, but this snake and hamster are said to be best of friends. The same holds true for these natural enemies. This Great Dane cannot get enough playtime with a full-grown deer. And here's a strange scenario you would think might end in tragedy, but doesn't. I used to work at a zoo, and, and, and uh, there was a orangutan that adopted a cat. And the cat would sit on that orangutan's lap all day. We see it all the time, but do these animals have real feelings for each other? Uh, I think really it's, it's, it's hard to argue against them having emotions. Veterinarian Richard Goldstein is the chief medical officer at Manhattan's Animal Medical Center. He says there's mounting evidence that proves animals of all shapes and sizes, domesticated and wild, have feelings. Case in point, Mr. G, who refused to move or eat when separated from his longtime companion, Jelly Bean. When the two are finally reunited six days later, they definitely appear to have emotions. Dr. Goldstein says multiple studies have been done on the emotional status of animals, from happiness and sadness to anxiety and regret. Some even show how the brain changes as an animal's emotions change. This is a map of each dog's brain. Emory University neuroscientist Dr. Gregory Burns did the first studies ever using an MRI to look at the brain function of dogs to determine what, how, and if they think about more than just food. Excellent. Want to do some training? Dr. Burns found just the smell of a dog's companion or owner can stimulate the area of his or her brain associated with positive emotions. And those are very, very similar, if not identical, to the changes that happen in people's brains with different emotional um, states. I think the answer is definitely yes. They love us for things far beyond food, basically the same things that humans love each other for, things like social comfort and social bonds. This confirmation that animals have feelings came as no surprise to pet owners we spoke to. Absolutely. You can tell when they're happy, you can tell when they're sad, you can tell when they're confused. Animals feel almost the same thing as we do. They're animals. We're all animals. And while animals cannot verbalize how they feel, experts say their body language does speak volumes. And for help with figuring out what your pet is thinking, go to cbsnewyork.com. Okay. Well, when somebody offers me nice food, though, I like them even more. Of course. <laughs> only natural. Right? right? It is. Human nature.